Amazon, Dropbox, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Netflix, Twitter, and Yahoo. Those are just some of the more than 100 companies expressing support for what they call a free and open web. The companies are taking a stand for net neutrality, the idea that all data on the internet is treated equally by internet service providers and the government. The stand comes in response to the Federal Communications Commission's proposal, which would reportedly allow ISPs to make deals with content providers like Netflix and Hulu for speedier connections. Some claimed this proposal could trigger the death of net neutrality. The letter, which has been posted in full by several sources, encourages the FCC to, quote, take the necessary steps to maintain an open internet. Instead of permitting individualized bargaining and discrimination, the Commission's rules should protect users and internet companies on both fixed and mobile platforms against blocking discrimination and paid prioritization. A writer for The Verge says this internet cause is unique in that it brings together many big-name tech companies for the first time. The letter signifies that technology companies have found a united front in calling for open internet rules. The timing is no coincidence. GigaOM reports several tech companies and advocacy groups met with members of Congress and the FCC last week. The group expressed support for a so-called free and open web ahead of the FCC's May 15th release of new net neutrality rules. The companies and advocates encouraged the FCC to reclassify broadband as a public utility, a move that would give the FCC control over the system. And the efforts seem to be making a difference. On Wednesday, an FCC commissioner released a statement in response to the outpouring support. While the calls, emails, and letters are new, my commitment to internet freedom is not. I am listening to your voices as I approach this critical vote to preserve an ever-free and open internet. For Newsy, I'm Micah Sargent.